Hey, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. And I'm Mike Rusk from Dr. Energy Saver in Cleveland, Ohio. And we're at the Dr. Energy Saver International Home Energy Conservation Training Center here. And we have a knee wall display right here. That's Mike, correct. what's a knee wall? A knee wall is a mini attic, you might say. Uh, you have a sloping roof here. You have the floor of the room. And obviously, you wouldn't want to take the drywall and drywall all the way down into that corner because then you'd be, you know, yeah. all, you couldn't yeah. really put a bed or anything in there. So what they do is they build a sort of a false wall in okay. front, so just like had, this. So we, we have a lot of these in Cape Cods, right? That's Cape correct. Cape Cod homes and, and uh, rooms over garages. Right. So when we say knee wall, we mean this is the wall. That's this right. This is the actual knee wall. Yeah, literally three to four feet. And this would be the knee wall space. Correct, behind it. Okay. That's right. And people are using the knee wall space as storage. That's right. That's about okay. all you can use it for because uh, it's very small space. Right. So uh, why is this such a problem from an energy point of view? Well, because this space behind this wall is considered to be outdoor space. Outdoor what that means space. is that, yeah, you've got vents in here ah. that allow cold air in the winter to just fill this room up and then uh, continue on and vent out to the top of the attic in order to protect your roof. Um, in the summer, that's letting in all that hot, humid air. So this room is very, very cold in the winter and very, very hot in the summer, and that creates some real energy problems for the room adjacent to it. Right, okay, so the space is vented. We have cold air coming in the winter time and then the, the, the builder may have put some uh, fiberglass insulation on the floor here, but of course it's open. It's an open structure and uh, the air can get through this fiberglass and also that cold air can go right through and making cold ceilings downstairs and cold floors upstairs by having this uh, open like this. That's right. We've already shown that air travels through insul uh, fiberglass insulation. Mm -hmm. So that cold air makes its way right through, comes right out this hole as you indicated before. Now if this is a bedroom, let's say up here, then that means all winter long that floor is going to be real cold. Mm -hmm. And then when they put uh, build little uh, doors for these knee wall spaces, they'll just, you know, put a, a panel of, uh, you know, plywood, or they may put an interior door panel, but it's not an, an insulated exterior door. Nor and is it so, sealed. Right, so air leak through here, and it's a cold spot. And then these walls are typically, you know, poorly insulated, or they just got some fiberglass leaned up against the inside of the walls, not like this. This is our display for another purpose, but uh, these walls will be cold. So lots of problems. And then in the summertime, when this roof deck is 150 degrees, it's radiating that heat down, and this whole assembly is all hot, and you're trying to cool the house with air conditioning. Right. So what do we do? Well, what we try to do is to take this space and make it into condition space. In other words, if we can make this space almost as warm as this room in the winter and almost as cool as this room in the summer, we can cut down on that transfer of hot and cold and keep this room a lot more comfortable. Aha, uh -huh. so we're making this space condition space. In other words, it's heated space or cooled space and it's not no longer outside. That's right. right. And the way we do that is pretty simple. We seal and we insulate that hot and or cold air out of this room by using a product we call Silver Glow, which okay. is a product that we develop specifically for that reason. Uh-huh, so it's foam insulation board and it's got a radiant barrier on both sides and we adhere it to the, uh, mount it to the bottom of the rafters and seal uh, blocking at the bottom so there's no way that cold air from the roof ventilation can get inside the, the knee wall space or the house. That's right, and in the summer, that hot air or hot, the heat from the sun radiating on the roof, that radiation gets sent back out through the roof uh -huh. so this does not heat up to that 100 and plus degrees and uh, that heat will not transfer into this room making this room um, hot, a, a room that you're trying to cool, make it hot. You know, we uh, at Dr. Energy Saver, we evaluate homes and fix homes every single day and when we see a home with a knee wall space, Guaranteed, that's a big problem right there. It is, and especially in our area because a lot of them don't have doors or hatches to get into. Uh -huh. So it looks just like this straight piece of drywall going through, and right. people don't, you know, when they're not opening and closing the door, they don't really feel that heat in the summer or feel that cold in the winter. And so these rooms are hot or cold, and, uh, you know, they wonder, well, now why is that? I mean, I don't literally see anything there, but yet it's back here. Yeah, so we'll have to cut a cut a hole in the drywall to get 
in there to do the work. Very simple. Yeah, and, Very simple. and oftentimes they'll have ducts running back here. That's right. And there'll be leaking ducts and poorly insulated ducts and, and you know, running right by uh, opening to the outside. It just makes no sense Right, whatsoever. all that cold air is actually cooling off all the heated air inside the duct. So by the time it's coming out into the room, it's a lot cooler than it would be if it, were, if it weren't being affected by that cold mm -hmm. air. You know, one of the effects of having uh, too much leakage, air leakage in your house, is in the wintertime is having too dry of a house. Because when outdoor air leaks in to replace air that escaped, uh, we're heating that air. And for every one degree that we heat the air, uh, we reduce the relative humidity by 2.2% unless we add water. So we had one client that her house was very dry, so mm -hmm. put a humidifier on their furnace, on their duct system, added water, right? right? Added humidity to the house. Well, got a knee wall space. And the air from inside the house was leaking into the knee wall space and condensing on the cold surfaces in the knee wall space, causing condensation. It was actually wet wet soaking insulation and uh, and wet wood back there from this this problem so which will cause a big mold problem big mold problem right. yeah right yeah. so if someone in the greater cleveland area wants to get help with uh, whether it be knee wall spaces or just any problem in making their home more energy efficient more mm -hmm. comfortable year round for the whole family what do they do all they have to do is give us a call or go to our website and we'll come out and give them a free home energy analysis as well as a written estimate excellent well thanks mike you're welcome